Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a, a hot minute since I did a video and that's because of two reasons really. I've focused on a lot of other projects that we had going that I needed to put full attention on. And two, I've been traveling quite a bit. So now COVID's coming to an end. I found um, it, it's time to really start thinking about getting out there and, and getting some of our project work back out in Europe and further afield, hopefully. So this week, we're gonna take a little look at this project that I did before we, we um, uh, stopped the last time around. And this was a Giver, which is, if you don't know that, look it up. It's one of the best uh, programs I remember when I, not so much when I was growing up, but a while ago now. And, and the guy is this kind of uh, guy that's got this suit that sticks to him. So a little bit like if you think things like Venom, you're not going to go far wrong. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop him up inside a Nomad and we're going to do a little bit of posing using just the split tool and we're going to use um, moving the pivot point. So let's dive right in. So I've done this a few times with this character um, and it's it's the best way I found to work out poses. So I sculpted this guy, lots of different body parts, lots of panels over the top, lots going on um, and still not, not finished really. Uh, I've got post-processing on here as you can see, so I'll turn it off for a moment and you can see there there's a picture of him in the background as I've been working on him. Um, so I'm going to turn that back on because I quite like that out of focus look. And I've got outline on. And the reason we have outline on, as I'm pretty sure you know, is so that we can see the individual parts that we've got. So if I've got the body selected, you know that's one part. And if I select the cylinder at the bottom, the base, then you can see that it's clearly a separate part. So what we're going to do is individually, with symmetry turned off, we're going to split all these body parts and then we're going to do some posing um, right there inside of Nomad. Now, it's not like doing a rig. It doesn't give you the ability to move things around um, in the same way that a rig would, but it's a great way just to check your anatomy and your um, the way your model's performing. So we come over here to split. And we're already on it there. And then on the right hand side, we've got uh, let's do split with lasso. So we come round one of the body parts. So I just want it roughly down the arm for now. And that'll split that arm off from this main body. And how do we know? So if you come up here, you can see now we've got the default cylinder, which is our base. Then we've got the body, which is called default. And we've got the arm, which is also called default because we haven't renamed it yet. So that's what I'm basically going to do. I'm just going to keep moving around now and I'm going to split him up into parts before we move on. So back to lasso. I'm going to go quickly through the arm here. Now, um, when you switch um, uh, the split tool on, it might tell you that perspective off is better. And I do agree with that because if you see the way I just did it, it went a, a little a diagonal through the model. If you turn perspective off and snap it, that means you're going to go directly through the model without any perspective skewing. So, for example, if I want to do that shoulder now, it will split off in a better way than the, 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 than the way we did it before. Uh, it didn't work then because I was on this arm. So you must remember to activate the one that you want or you'll make a mistake like I just did there. So you'll see it now split off correctly. And if that's worked OK, then this bit will be a breeze like so. And all we're doing is just splitting it down like this. And the reason that, that, that we're going to do this is because then we can move those parts. So let's just work through and do a couple of others. So let's do the head. We'll snap that forward like that. Back to lasso. Bring it round like this. And that head, if I'd have selected it, remember, that head will give you that and that's a separate part and that can be can be moved quite quite easily now we want to do the body but everything's getting in the way so i'm going to use solo here at the bottom now i can see all the way through it and i'm going to split this into a couple of parts so i'm quite happy with the upper torso for now so i'm going to put symmetry still off and i'm going to use um i'll just use the line tool this time because i want a line that comes not quite like that because it's chopping the body. I want it to come through here. So I want it like, maybe like that. And that'll be better now because we can we can see, you can see that it's just clipped that panel off. But again, because these are just pose tests, that won't be a, a huge problem for us. So let's come to the front. So snap, turn that solo off so everything comes back. So we've done the head, the body. We might want to split this chest at some point, but I'm okay with it at the moment. Um, 
now the legs are next so what we'll do is we'll split each leg off so we want to use um, lasso again and we'll come we'll zoom in and we'll come around here and we'll split him off below the knee like this that's one done you don't have to be super accurate because as I say we're doing this uh, you need to be more accurate than that that was terrible um, we're doing this to help us carry on designing the character and try poses with him so that you know that, that there is um, there is a, a certain amount of accuracy that you need with it or it won't work and you might as well have waited and gone to it to a rig solution so let's have a look at what we've got so we've got the two legs we've got the two th thighs now the two legs we split them in one so we need to separate them and that's super easy we'll just split those two without even touching them and that means that both are separate components now the the lower leg and the um the the abdomen is still one piece so we'll do the same there i missed the toe then there you go so now we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 parts to deal with and we may split that into two as I say I'm not too sure yet depending on what we want to do with it and that's how you split it down it doesn't look super super clean if you come right into the joints now for this model it's great because it's got all black and white so it isn't a major problem um, but you know you may want to think about it if it's if it's something with a bit more of an obvious um, join that's not going to look good so you have to do it per model to see to see if it's going to work so the next thing we're going to need to do is move the pivot points so we're going to go select the one we want we're going to go over to um let's use the uh, gizmo tool and we'll hit over here on the right we'll hit pivot now that pivot now needs to be somewhere in the joint where you're going to rotate it so you need to look at it from both angles and you need to say to yourself turn pivot off does that arm rotate from there and yes it does so that one's correct next we'll do the shoulder and you've got to work through every one now we've just got to make sure that's in the middle of that shoulder joint from both angles which it is that's that one done so I'll pivot back off I'll keep my finger over there so it's quite easy to do body doesn't matter so much head really does matter because you need to pivot that from the base of the skull where your head would rotate and if I'll show you what I mean once I've done it so we'll get right where you're, you've got two bones in, in the top of your neck there called the atlas and the axis. The atlas is what your head sits on and then the axis is the thing that's going to help you turn your head. So you want it roughly where that, that vertebrae is in there. So, and you can see now that works straight away because the head looks realistic. So done that one, we'll do the shoulder. So let's use pivot and get that one in the middle from both angles. And then the arm, do pivot, move it to the middle, like so. Um, hips, fine, dead in the middle. Need the thigh, pivot up at the top, and it's in the middle. Next thigh, pivot up at the top. Lower leg, see how we're speeding up now. We're not splitting the feet off yet, um, because... We don't know what the pose is going to be, so we'll split the feet when we've we've decided on the pose. So let's start thinking about doing some posing. I'll put perspective on now. And just to clear things up a little bit, I'll turn this background off. I'll make it a colour and I'll make the colour um, just dark grey. Like so. I'll move the lighting around just to see if everything's looking okay, which it is. And if I'm honest, I don't really need to be seeing this cylinder now. Um, simply because um, we're, we're going to do something that's maybe uh, flying or something like that. So let's have a think what we want to do. So if I want to now pose this guy, the first thing I would do is move. I'd start with his hips. And let's think about him doing um, a, a superhero pose where he's maybe floating a little bit so his feet are off the ground. Um, so for, to do that, I'm going to tip his hips forward. I'm going to take his body panel, the top bit, and move that forward, but rotate it back a little bit, like so. And because it splits him open like that, there may be some move tool work that we have to do just to make it look convincing. So that might be something like this. Keep your um, intensity quite low when you're doing stuff like that, because it, it, if you don't keep it low, you end up the the, the moves can end up quite significant um, and, and not look not give you the desire they basically shoot off um as mine did when i first did it so 
There you go, so that's that one. And then let's just move his head. Um, go back to the gizmo and we'll move his head down here and we'll just turn it around for now just to see. Uh, I haven't really decided yet on the head because you know we, we've got a long way to go yet before we decide that. So at least we, we you know we can be thinking about where it, it will go when we finish. Uh, let's rotate both these arms back. Now, I want to remove that and the one below it at the same time. So how do I do that? So come up to here and you know that you, you're going to want, let's put the pin on so we can see it. We've got that arm there and we want this arm here. So we put a little arrow on for both. And that now means you can move them both together, but the pivot point has gone in between the two. So this is a pivot point just for the two together, like so. So that would allow us to do that. And then back to the arm, just the arm. And now you can move that around like, like that. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is you can see the back of that split there. So we may, you know, you have to move it and then be, just be a little bit careful that you've, you know, that, that you're not showing any of that um, mess of where we've cut it. So there is a little bit of being a little bit um, aware of the cut that you've done. Uh, so we want this one and this one together. You can see with a, you know, once you've got your head around it, uh, it, it can be quite quick. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna take all of your time um, once you've once you've understood how these parts all fit together. So we'll, we will use this slightly differently here. We're not using the pivot point exactly where we put it for that first move, but because we're gonna bring this arm forward a bit, like so. So this is, you know, this is, again, this is where it really shines out to be not as good as a rigging system. So it's, um, the back here is where it will expose the problems. So then you'd have to be prepared to come in and do something like this, where we then move each of those parts around and you can switch between the two by clicking them and just move them around like this. So each part is gonna, each joint where it's a major joint, you're gonna have to do a little bit of checking like that. And let's just try the head for a moment. Just see, because straight away I didn't like what I was doing the way I'd moved that one. So actually I'll move it down like this for now. So he's looking down as we as we look at him. So the next one, let's move this leg back, which means we can move, um, uh, not that one, we want this one, I think it is. So those two together. So we'll just move the double pivot up and then rotate it back. And then we'll just pick the lower one and rotate that back. And now we see we want that foot to be hanging down, but I'm not gonna do it until I've done this other side, first of all. So let's move, let's find out what this lower leg is here. And we want this one and this one. Change the pivot, see how repetitive it is, but again, it doesn't take too long. And then change that by rotating it forward this time, bring it out a little bit and swing it out. And then this knee will have this coming all the way back like this. So that's gonna look odd at the front. So we'll move that back and then we might do some corrective on that once we've got the pose right. So that's looking okay. Uh, that leg should have turned in like that actually. So you can spot the problems with the pose very easily once you start moving the, 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 the model around like this. So now let's just split off those feet. So back to split. And then we want lasso, like so. And that means we can just rotate that round at however we see fit now. So there's, uh, we didn't move the pivot point, did we? So let's get that in place, like so. And then we can move that down and then move it back up because obviously that would swing round and under like that. And that looks, that looks better straight away there. Now that's highlighted how bad this leg is. So back to this one, and we'll just swing that one around like that so it goes behind that leg. And then maybe this one, swing it like this. So what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at the core anatomy. I'm seeing if it's it's working for me to see if the pose is actually giving me, you know, the the, the, the feeling that I wanted when I started this. And, and if it's not, then just carry on moving it around. Just keep keep moving, moving the pieces around, keep chopping them if you need to. If you've got an instance like this, where there's the foot going into the leg, then just use the move tool, like 
like so and just bring it up inside and it, and it fills in that gap for you there so that's giving us more of a jumping pose i quite like that now so this leg here is shining out as a problem so we'll bring that into the right place um, like so and we'll just bring this body part over a little bit the symmetry is actually on there so that was causing me a problem and this one in here so there we go we've kind of got a, a, a quite a good you know a striking pose very very quickly i'm just going in now and seeing where i can see issues and just tweaking it just moving it around to to, to get everything to look how i would want it keep forgetting about that symmetry which isn't a good thing um and let's try the head again um just move him around there we go we can get a, a really nice um looking he's looking down at us as if as if we're below him and he's floating up above and that if i move the light in now you can see let's turn off our outline and that's how we get like a nice powerful dynamic scene um a good thing to try is to change your field of view so if you just change this the fo sorry it's the focal length so you can see you can go really extreme like this to 60s and 70s and then down to almost back to orthographic so somewhere in between you'll find the sweet spot that'll give you a nice dynamic pose and once you've got that right you can go back and tweak the individual areas again so i might want to move that head again now and then once that's right we can then go back and change the light in and that's how I would use it, really. So, it, you know, once you've done a pose like this, you, you can really see where you've made errors in your model. You can see where you've got things that you can improve on. And it only takes 10 minutes to, you know, to, to chop it up and play with it like this. You can see if your, your limb length is right. Um, it's just a useful way of doing it without spending a load of time and effort um, in sending it out from Nomad and doing a a rigging solution so yeah have a go of that see how you feel about it and um, see if it's something you can use a lot just simply split it up and use that pivot tool to move everything into the pose that you that you want here we've taken it to the next stage so we've added a bit more dramatic lighting so you can see there we've done really strong red dramatic lighting we've got the blue outline going by using the um, in outline here sorry in post process here We've got curvature and we've put a nice bright blue there. You can see that that's uh, outlining it quite well there. Um, and then we've got a dark red for the curvature, which is, you can see it's dark or deep red in deep down in the creases. And then the lighting um, is one red, one blue back and front. And I've taken the HDRI right down. So you're only really seeing the shadow from the lighting. So that dramatic pose um, is really enhanced or a dra dramatic pose is enhanced by the, the the lighting now and now you can start doing screenshots and using these as a, you know the basis to do paint overs for your concept art or your character design but just with that split tool i find i can get some really nice shapes i hope you're enjoying the videos and sorry that we had that little break there for a few weeks so it was really refreshing for me as a designer and an artist to you know not be creating every single week so hopefully i'm a little bit fresher and hopefully i'm going to bring some new ideas to the table if you happen to like this one then please give it a thumbs up and if you give it a thumbs up and you're not subscribed then please hit that button hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when we upload new content